my name is Mindy Gofton. I'm the Head of Marketing Strategy and Innovation. So my name is Fiona, I'm Head of PR at ICOM. My name is Mercedes um, and I'm the Client Services Manager. I'm Laura, I'm a Content Strategist. My name is Jane Craig, my job title is uh, Head of Paid Search and Analytics. I think I'd guess pretty low. If I had to take a guess, I'd probably say it was around 25%. Obviously it's going to be less than half, because I don't think it's an even split at all, but maybe like a quarter, something like that. I would say um, 30%. I'd like to think it was higher. Probably about 20 to 30%, something like that. I know it's quite low. Maybe 30%. I'd say it's low, but I, I don't think I'm necessarily surprised by that feeling. It is a shame that it's low, but um, I think it's something that's probably changing, maybe not as quick as we'd like it to. Really, I think it's, it just kind of goes to show how much more there is still to do. 47%. Well, yeah, you just have to look around. <laughs> Brilliant, yeah. I think an even balance is what like any business should probably be striving for and I don't really like the idea of quotas where people are sort of set to have a 50-50 split. I think it should be more like on merit but the fact that we have it naturally I think it's really cool. I think you can kind of tell in the culture and the environment. To work here it's like refreshing and it's, it's good and I think it's not an issue, do you know what I mean? I think everybody just feels on an even playing field. Having that really even split, I think it makes it so much easier for anyone to just come into the business and feel a lot more comfortable. It's definitely noticeable when you go to industry events and attend conferences and stuff. I mean, for starters, they have to like beg for women to get women on panels. In one of my previous uh, roles, I was for a very long period kind of the only female there for, for a while, so it does make a massive difference. I um, originally tried to do computer science at um, high school, um, which was actually only ever done at the boys' grammar school, and I went to the girls' school, so um, we would have had to have gone over to, to them to do the lessons. They didn't enrol me by accident. I don't know whether that was true or not, but I had to pick something else. Women still seem to kind of sit in feminine roles, or what are considered feminine roles, rather than going into tech and becoming coders and being sort of more technical SEO people and I think that's more unusual which is strange because there's no reason that we shouldn't be assuming those roles. Not enough's being done from an early age to encourage women into more male dominated roles. Just to have that diversity I mean it's not just women I'm also you know thinking you know racially as well to have that Mix. I think it's better for company cultures, but it's also better for creativity and for the clients that we deal with. I think for any business, you should want to have like a good mix because people bring such different skills, and there's definitely certain traits that women have more than men, and the other way around. So I think having that balance, it's got to be a good thing. Probably just do your research about the industry and know as much as possible. Just go for it. If you love it and you're good at it, don't give up.